Hey there. Welcome to Let's Play RC, and today we are installing a light kit on my Traxxas TRX4 Defender. So let's install it. Hey there, so if we haven't met, I'm Calvin. And I'm Dylan. And on this channel, we do all things RC, such as tips, tricks, reviews. We also do upgrades, like today, repairs, unboxings, some awesome run videos. So if you're new around here, consider, consider subscribing. subscribing. Okay, so as we talked about, we will be installing a light kit. There's a light bar, lights for in here, for the rockers. rock lights. Yeah, rock lights. Um, there's front lights and rear lights. It's the Traxxas uh, uh, light kit. The part number is 8030. It'll also be down in the description. So let's install it. Let's get it. at her, okay. So the tools you're going to need for this job are a 1.5 hex driver, a 2 mil hex driver, a 2.5 hex driver, a flathead screwdriver, a body reamer side cutters and some scissors electrical tape duct tape and a couple pieces of uh, heat shrink um, I can't tell you what size but uh, I'll explain exactly. after where we're gonna put them so so we'll put the truck aside for now because we actually need to start with the body we do open all of our packages with scissors that way if we have to return which we have explained in a different video Right. Okay, so we'll uh, switch camera here and show you where to start. So what you want to start on is removing the fenders. This is your 1.5 mil. I'll remove all these fenders. Light bar. Here's all the um, rock light. So Dylan and I uh, decided recently maybe we should start doing some upgrades on our RC trucks. So well, our crawlers. Especially. Yeah, the, well, the scale trucks. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna try to put a few more videos out like that in the next little while, hey? Including the HPI and the um, Axial, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Maybe grab a couple things for them one day. Store. So this is a little time consuming, so like I said, we will fast forward, so we're not going to talk no more so that we can uh, fast forward. So Dylan got, grabbed a second screwdriver so we could double team this. That'll just go a little bit faster. Yeah. It won't go zoom or faster, but it'll go a little bit faster. Just two times the speed. And we like working together anyways. If anybody, if any of you guys have watched our videos or are subscribed to our channel, you'd realize that we do everything together. Yeah. Well, not, maybe not every, every, every. Well, no, when it comes to the RCs most anyway. Stuff. We hang out a lot. Yes. And uh, do you want me to just put these screws that I'm taking out over yeah, there? Yeah, we'll just put everything over there. Some of them are just fake wheel screws. Every second one on the rear actual screws, and every second one on the front, except for by the door, there's two together that aren't screws. Let's see if we can accomplish this, like working like right side by side. Look at that. There's some talent. <laughs> I don't even know if we have enough room in here for both our hands. So we're one screw away from one fake screw away from each other, and we're still and we're still they going. They can see they can see in this camera up here. Yeah. Maybe. And we're still going. That that just shows how big of a bond we have. 
But sometimes that bond just makes yeah. us. Sometimes that instead. sometimes <laughs> that bond does definitely. And other us times it just makes us better. Dylan and I are so much alike that we either get along like peas and carrots, like Forrest Gump says, or we are butting heads like a couple mountain rams. Okay, so now once you have that, guys, your inner fenders are gonna come out. Keep these exactly the way they came. Oh, sorry. Actually, I forgot, there's two screws. On the back one. On the back one. Is this the same size? No, that one's the 2.2.0, I think. Yeah. Here, grab the grub screw. The grub screw? Yeah. There's a couple grub screws attaching the back wheel well to the, like, holy, there's a lot of rust in there. There, and like I said, you wanna set those out the way they come out of the truck. You can hear it crack, eh? I don't want to strip the hexes on those, so I think that little, little tiny bit of... If your truck's new, you probably won't have to worry about it, but if your truck is used, like Dylan's, Even he's been... Times. Yeah, he's been through puddles and water and the little tiny bit of corrosion inside these little screws, they won't break and you'll end up stripping out your hex. All right, so this is the next thing. There's three screws here, guys. One, two, three, one, two, three in each of the headlamps. Not completely necessary, you will, but most likely. Yes. You could, so you might as well just play it safe. Okay, so now you gotta remove the artificial light bucket. They're a little bit difficult. Quite a bit difficult. Oh, <laughs> uh, you just gotta get a hold of it. There you go. Yeah, so basically, on. they're just slotted over these black pegs here. So you just gotta get them pried off of there. Yeah. So careful, carefully. Yeah, you don't wanna break your body or anything. And again, I'm I'm assuming that this is a little bit difficult on Dylan's truck because he's already run it, so. Okay, so there's the front ones out. Next step is the back ones. The back ones only have one screw on the outside here. Okay guys, next step, the light bucket set. You're basically just going to replace everything you just took out with this. Each one of these is actually marked so that you can't, I mean, it's a pretty simplified system. Um, left front, so that would be this side. Left front. So when you take those out, you keep these pieces your actual I'll just leave that out. So this would be your right front when the truck is upside down. Put that and you one. basically just put them back on, squeeze the 
these knuckles onto the new light. Like so. Put the front ones, three screws back in on each. So again, the back ones are marked as well, left and right. Remember if the truck's upside down to reverse it. So that's that step. Next step is your Benders in the inner wheel wells and the rock lights. So for the rock lights, you need the 2.5 mil, nope, sorry, 2 mil bit. And you're just going to take out all these little covers here. We got these little covers there's four per set included in the kit I'm not sure can you see that is it in focus there's a diagram here of the fenders and how to do it so if you just follow that it's quite simple Okay, so start number one with your cord, which shows on there. You guys aren't, um, I'm sure you guys can read it and figure it out, but we'll just kind of give you the steps. Yeah. Um, so you just follow this along and all your little rock lights go in there. There, there. So basically, guys, just take the screws from the artificial plates, the screws that you had taken out, and put them in with the lights. And it's only one screw for each, but there's a little pin right here that holds the other side. Okay, so that's Tied that. No, no. Yeah. Okay, so now for they give you those uh, zip ties, guys, and for a reason. this body. It's nice that they put uh, these little anchors in here to actually zip tie your wires to. Here, there's a few of them. So um, you can do this at your own discretion, but uh, clean up the stuff a little bit by. Dylan, can you hold the body like that so they can see? 
And we'll just uh, zip tie, use a couple zip ties to clean these wires up and keep them out of the way. And of course, this is where you need your side cutters to cut your zip tie. Be careful not to cut your wires, guys. Yeah, because if you cut your wires, you're kind of pooped. Uh, this is one of those things, it's your own opinion on how you want to clean up your wires. It's not up to us to tell you. Okay, now we got to put our fenders back in. Pretty simple. Back the way you found them. So we are Start. getting there. And then we are going to replace or reinstall the fenders. Now, when you're doing this, guys, be careful to line up your screw holes so that you don't scratch your body or rip the holes. Yes. Next step will be your light bar. These two mounts are made to screw. I hope you guys can see, probably not, the holes in the top of the roll cage. You need the longer screws or the so, shorter screws? Right in this corner here, you're going to use your body reamer. I tried to get try to get it as close as possible here, and you want to ream a hole. Big enough to get your two plug ends through. Let's see. So, there we go. Those plugs and wires are in. Feed the wire all the way down. Well, I will do this one, Dylan, yeah, and then you can do the other side, okay? Okay. That way I, if I, okay, maybe I can't do this one. <laughs> and it's the inside. There's two holes on either side started. You want the inside ones. Again, these are things you guys will probably figure out. And uh, I know sometimes I talk about things that you probably will get to figure out on your own, but. And now your light bar is attached. All your wires are in underneath. Next step, you are going to take your truck, the actual chassis of the truck, and you are going to take the receiver box they provide. And there's two mounts right here that they also provide. Do you think maybe Traxxas had this planned out? Probably. Because if they did, I don't think they would have all that. <laughs> the two screws that they provided as well. And you can just screw the receiver box to these two mounts. Next step, the two screws in the front of your battery tray. Loosen them up. We're not providing what that's going to happen. It's so heavy, we're not. And then your battery tray will flip up like so. And then the red wire from your receiver box can wrap down and under to go over to your actual receiver. I guess this is a relay box actually guys, not a receiver box. Sorry, I'm misspeaking on that. But this red wire is the one you're going to plug into your receiver. This is the receiver. So we're gonna remove the receiver cover 
And, and the wire clamp cover to get access here. What is this for? Remember guys, don't lose your rubber gasket. That is for waterproofing. We're getting close. Yeah, I'm so happy. So now we're in the receiver box, so we are going to tuck this wire in here. Actually, let's open this up a little bit so we can get access. And we're going to tuck this down in here. Use a hex driver to push it. Be gentle. Make sure you don't rip your wires or puncture anything. And you're going to plug this into channel one. Like so. Awkward channel one. And tuck everything back in. Easy peasy. Put your receiver box cover back on. Make sure that the gasket is in the groove that it sits in properly. If it's not and it gets pinched, your receiver box will not be waterproof anymore. You can also use a little bit of silicone grease on that gasket to ensure that it has a good seal. We are not going to do that because that was just recently done on Dylan's when we replaced his steering servo. Steering servo replacement will be in a card in your top left corner if you want to check that out. Replacement and upgrade, actually. Now we are going to make sure all these wires are tucked nicely into the foam, the waterproof foam. And again, silicone grease. This part we will do silicone grease again. So if Dylan can grab dad the silicone grease, which is over there in that little tube, remember? Silicone grease. So with this, you take this and just squeeze a little silicone grease on there. And that'll just help keep the foam moist and it'll help to make sure you don't pinch any wires in your screw holes. Um, the silicone grease will just give you some added waterproof yeah. protection. Water, 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 proof, 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 proof. <laughs> That's a waterproofing. But you gotta do that because if you don't, then your truck, if you take it through water. Yeah, yeah which we tend to do a lot. Yeah, even even when we go out, we don't water. go, hey, let's go find water. We find water and we drive in the water. Again, the zip ties they provide, I would suggest putting one under here to clamp that red wire to the mini servo wires that run under there as well to try and keep everything nice and clean. If we get this done in time, you wanna go out and play still? Yeah. Did you wanna check to make sure we have batteries charged then, please? Once that's done, guys, then you're just gonna put your battery tray back in. Make sure that your um, screws don't go where the wires are. So just be sure your wires are out of the way of the uh, receiving hole for these two screws. Okay, that's all back together. Plug this plug into this red plug here that's provided already. <laughs> it only goes one way. Traxxas definitely planned that. I think they got the light kit ready before they even got the truck Before done. they released the truck? <laughs> yeah. It kind of seems that way, doesn't it? Before they even start building the truck, they got the light kit done. And again, I'm going to put another zip tie. They provided a whole bunch of them, so you might as well use them and clean up your wires. And if we have extra, we actually have a zip tie drawer with a whole bunch of extras in it. Yeah, we do. We have blue, green, red, we have lots of zip ties. Okay, so that's that. Next step, the fun part. Fun part. Actually running the wire. Again, they have a diagram that we showed you earlier on the rock light diagram. They actually show you on there how to route the wires. I like fun things. But 
And that's where this extra piece comes in. Extra. So, um, hopefully you guys can see that. There's a double row of three prongs. On the other side, and then your rock light plug plugs into the light bar and that's pretty much it this part's a little difficult I'm not going to explain it just follow the the instructions to the best of your ability and then test it before you actually run it this is where the shrink wrap comes in now I just think that this this is the piece you need to plug into your um, hub there I'm losing what I'm saying but I don't see the point to having this all exposed if you only need this so I'm gonna wrap this up with a little heat shrink now if you guys do decide to do this make sure you do it quick passes don't hold the lighter too long in one spot because these wires they get because these wires they give you with this uh, light kit are quite thin and you could easily melt the insulation on the outside so let's do a little bit at a time the main thing is the plug piece I was trying to uh, protect so that's where the electrical tape comes in. I'm just going to seal off each end with a little bit of electrical tape. Pretty sure in my opinion, and I could be totally wrong, but I feel a little bit better about the waterproof integrity of this truck by trying to seal up that end a little bit or that connection I guess if you're anything like Dylan and I that's important because like we said we always we don't find water they say waterproof truck we say water oh there's water cool let's go drive in it right Dylan yeah very much so we are going to do everything in our power to keep the waterproof integrity. I would like to get some liquid uh, electrical tape, but still haven't gotten around to it. And then that other one is right here, this little guy. That's what I got this heat shrink for. At this point you're pretty well done the install um, like I said it's more now just about uh, cleaning up your wires on your own um, there is one other little thing I want to go over with you in a second so I'll show you so now where you ream the body here for the light bar wires these wires are pretty thin so I'm a little nervous that rattling around too much it might cut them so I'm just gonna put some tape down there between the wire and the hole basically and at the same time I'm also going to use the tape to seal the hole that way water doesn't get in your butt water will still get in your butt yeah but it'll it'll reduce it yeah and then tape the wires down so yeah, okay, so that's it guys. So basically, um, like I said, use your zip ties, tape, whatever you want to make the wiring inside clean. Okay guys, so there she is, she's all done. And uh, it was so awesome, well, we, we decided to do two. Yeah. So hopefully it was helpful and you guys enjoyed it. So don't forget to hit that like button as well, share this video and subscribe and hit that notification and ring that notification bell too. Awesome, until next time, get out and play. See you guys later. Bye bye.